is one of the learning journal that provide for teacher and student to really think of the box. Sisaw is also to be student driven digital the empower student to independently document what they learn at school. Sisaw is not only a way of evidence in teaching children but how to know the internet world so sisaw is an absolutely brilliant application what is the sisaw is very popular because there are a lot of advantages that we get uh, from the sisaw uh, it is solve so many problems for the students, teachers, and family. For the teacher, they can chat uh, the student individual needs, a different it, and uh, build on their progress. And then for the students, there are a lot of activity for the student to work and collaborate and act, do a creative on the CISO, so the, their process on learning can actively effectively uh, on the other hand a CISO uh, integrates with a lot of application and then web tool as as well Google Drive uh, so they are what world use the CISO so we can get so many ideas for the teacher, for the student, for the family was so to do in the learning. Today I'm going to show you how to set up your CISO class. You can set up your class on smartphone or on the CISO website. Today, I want to going to show you how to do this on the CISO website. Let's get started. Go to applications.ciso.me and click enter. If you haven't had a CISO class, you need to create your teacher account. Tap I am teacher, then tap create account. Enter your first name the last name, email address, and password, and create a teacher account. Now, we will want to create our class. Name your class and your create level. Click create a new class. Now, we will want to create our class. Some teachers find it helpful to name their class along uh, the format of teacher name, grade level, that you can name whatever you want. So as the name of the class is telling story, and then the grid is third grid, and then click the green one. And now you will decide how you want your student to send in. We have a few send in option for younger student or classroom with just a few device. We recommend the scan a Q, QR code or code text option. Okay, I'm going to start with Q code option for my class. You can add them one by one or you can get one all of them by pass the name to the uh, column of name of the student for example the name of the student
and then click the trim mark. Now we have our class and then we have a unique activity. This is a code that you can share to your student to see in in CISO and then you can print the student code look like this one here you will see you have unique class QR code if you want to give student the text code click to the text class code option they can use either this text code or this QR code to see into your class remember this is for inside your classroom only and never post on image or your class code poster on social media if other people get a hold of your class or thought they are able to sing into your class as well so print the class QR code poster and you can have this all around your classroom with your unique class QR code okay back to our class we have a activity or journal class the name is telling story then we have two students Ahmad and Nalangsari if you want to uh, give information to the family, uh, families to click in you can click this in and then turn on family access and then you can invite families by email or mobile number for example, I will uh, invite families according to email. And then click invite family. And then click return to journal. Okay, we have ready invite the families to join in the class especially telling story we can give information that this child have a statement what should to do and then the uh, the parents can help his child to get a better in learning at home okay the teacher can send the excitement to the student by CISO how to send the exit one to the student first click add and then post student work there are lots of kind activities for the student that we can share to the students for example i want to share a video for my telling story class select from the computer and then the video that we will send to the student wait until the video get ready upload and then click caption Okay, after the video have ready uploaded, we can write some instruction for our student by click caption and then write the instruction and then click the green tab. And then choose all of our students to get our excitement.
and then click the cream mark. The excitement have already sent to the student. We can see that all the students have one item excitement and the student will get notification in CISO account. The teacher also can chat with the parents by click the inbox and then click the parent names and then we can send something to the parent and then click send again we can see the message have already sent to the parent the teacher also can get an idea for the kind of excitement by click the activities icon. There are a lot of idea in activity library. We can choose the kind of excitement in here. You can see so many excitement, so many activity for our student. I think that's all about CISO tutorial for the teacher. Hello, this is Nawang Sari speaking. I'm going to guide you. I'm going to present you about CISAO class application for students. In this application, first you will need to register a, a student. By with uh, to, to do this, you need a code from your teacher. Like this, you need to fill in the code. And then after that, you will need to sign in in email or with Google. After you sign in, you will enter your journal page. In this section, you can see the previous your previous work like in the screen. If you got a message from your uh, teacher, you can add journal by pressing that plus button in the corner like this and choose which one, which is the appropriate symbol you are going to work with. Now the journal can also be seen by order of date like this one, see, like this. Okay, so after that, uh, in the activities section, you can see if there is any assignment from your teacher, like this. So if you are going to work on the assignment, you can just uh, push the the add button in there, like that. and you can choose which one the the proper symbol for your work. And then in the inbox section, you will see if there there is two section in there. There is message and there is notification. In message, you can see an, an announcement from either your teacher or your classmate, like this. And in the notification, there is something like a notification of what people do or you like. That, this one, see there is one heart in this word. In this screen, you can see six symbol. That is symbol of cam camera, camera for taking photo, or and that is symbol for pencil for try drawing. If you work, if you have a uh, homework or assignment to draw something, then you can use that one, or you can use 
a ready to post pile from the other one in below that drawing symbol in this drawing in this drawing symbol you can you can see there is pencil you can choose to use pencil like this in the corner below or pen which is a bit more thick than pencil or you can use this one which is a bit more thicker or this one which is just a glow this see and there is the in the another corner below there is an eraser an eraser eraser you can erase it if you don't like it I don't like this one or if you really don't like it you can just undo it in on top of the picture you can there is undo or reading symbol there is also zoom in and zoom out symbol if you are not satisfied with that and if you really really don't really really is not satisfied with your drawing you can just select it all right next oh i did tell you that you can upload an already made file it can be done by with uh, the symbols below drawing which is at file this you can make a video by with with the symbol beside that at file that's already the word video from there the symbol drawn below with not not word in that you can use that to post your work like a writing word like this if you like everything in this section if you already if you are ready to submit your work you can just push that checklist button in, in that corner like that all right the item is uploaded there you are this one is the one I just made waiting approval from the teachers and below that ah, that one is the picture I made yesterday the, the next is another one which is already approved so there is no no label as waiting for approval like the top before all right I guess that's all I can give you about this see so application for students can download by your smartphone there are four ways to do first you are going to go to the play store then second you tap the search bar and write the seesaw family And the third, you tap install. The fourth, you are going to wait a few minutes until the app site in your smartphone. Second, we can create a family account and scan the QR code. Or we can sign it with Google. Third, if we have an account, we go to the family sign in. First, you write a email, an email, and then the password. After that, we will sign in. This is the display of Caesar's family. 
first is home. The parents can see the recent parts of the child activity and respond that child post. We also can like and comment about the activity. Like and comment. We can comment by text and by report. Second is journals. The parent can see the assignment of student like storytelling, listening, speaking, or etc. Third or the last is inbox. Parents can communicate with the teacher to ask about the sentiment or attitude for our children by message like this in this message also have seek tools like photo drawing video advice note or link Notification. The parents get the activity of our children's journal will appear from the teacher. Okay, that's all.